Hey friends, Sarah here. Um, got, a, got a few of these bunnies from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to go ahead and do a little cute spring craft here. Went and had it painted that bunny cashew. Gave it a dry and then I'm going to add some Mod Podge on here and we're going to take some tissue paper that I found at Hobby Lobby this weekend and we are going to put that over the top of it. My dog kept moving my, my ring light. So I just cut a little piece out, uh, dried it up a little bit. And then I just wrapped it around the edges as well. I love this tissue paper. Now at one point in this video, my camera stops recording again and I I don't realize it because I'm too busy crafting all right so now I've got that Mod Podge on there and then I'm gonna add a little bit more Mod Podge on the top just to um, protect it a little bit I didn't really want it to tear And then I'm just going to dry that. And then I take my dark wax by Kills. It's a sealing wax. And I just go around the edge of the entire bunny head. And the brush that I use for this is a dry, flat, cheap, cheap brush. I don't use anything expensive when it comes to brushes. And so I just go around the whole thing, even a little bit in the middle, give it some good antiquing looks, I guess, or an antiquing look, I should say. And you can probably hear my cat in the background. So I take a popsicle stick and I glue it on to the back of the head. And there's Dave moving my camera again. And then I got this spring and happy mail, and I'm, this is where my camera's cut out, but I, I go to glue it. Um, and the glue didn't hold very well, so I did end up taking some twine and I just wrapped it around there really, really tight. <clears throat> and that, that worked really well. I thought it was going to hold, but it, it really it didn't. But the twine was a good idea, so that's where my com camera cut out. So that's all I did. And then here I'm just going to make a bow with my Bodabra. I'm just going to tie it up and take it out and get it all fluffed up. Then I decided I wanted a piece of fabric in the middle. You can see my twine on that bunny where it was tied on there. And then I just add the bow to the front, tie it off in the back. And now I'm going to take some Excelsior and I'm going to use this for his whiskers. And that's just a little wooden heart that I painted black. See his cute little whiskers? <clears throat> and then I take some more Excelsior and... I actually end up going through the bottom because I didn't want a whole lot a whole lot of it to be sticking out otherwise you'd lose sight of his whiskers. And then I take some and I put some inside the bowl like in between the bow loops just a little bit on each side. Then I do a little trimming on the on the ends of the the bow. And then I just grab a tag, these tags I got from Hobby Lobby in the party section, and I'm just gonna stamp bunny on there. And 
And then I'm going to go ahead and just rough it up like I do all of my tags with my scissors. Crumple it up. And then I'm going to take some more of my Kiehl's wax and grunge up the edges. And then, of course, we can't forget our button. I should always have my buttons ready before I do a video. Then I glue the tag on, and then I put the button over the end of the tag. And then I grab my sweet Annie. And I put some at the bottom of the bow by going downwards and then on each side. And then I did do some up at the top too as well. He's so cute. I love sweet Annie. Then I decided I need a little bit more Sweet Annie, and this is where I added it to the top. And I find I find that you can, my Sweet Annie came in Happy Mail, but you can find it on Etsy, but I know it's really popular right now, so I know I've heard people say it's really hard to find. And then I took a little fabric bow and I put it on his ear. And I just took a couple little pieces of Sweet Annie and put it on top, top of the bow on the ear. And then of course I had to find another button for that little bow. And there he is, cute little spring project. Thank you for watching, everybody.